Hello everyone. I've counted the votes and the card you want me to talk about most is the Lepernome. Let's begin, shall we? In Hearthstone, the Lepernome is usually found in aggro decks since his death rattle would deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. But there is another way of summoning this little guy to the field with the legendary card Maxioneer Permaplug. When he's out on the field and you kill an enemy minion, a Lepernome will be summoned. The reason for this connection is that Firmaplug is pretty much responsible for the leper known to exist. Sicko Firmaplug was ambitious and believed he should become the leader or the high tinkerer of the gnomes, but the council found that he was too ambitious and they chose to make Galbin Mechatork the high tinkerer instead. This crushed Sicko and a fair part of his sanity was lost on that day. He came up with a plan which went against the very nature of being a gnome. At the time, they were dealing with the Trogs assaulting their city of Gnomeragon and Sicko convinced Mechatork of a plan that would use gas to take care of their enemy. Sicko had claimed to have tested the radiation level of the gas. He had claimed to have evidence of its terminal effects on the Trogs. And he had shown Galbin falsified numbers on his density and volumetric weight. The gas should have stayed in the quarantined areas and lower sections of Gnomeregon, poisoning the invaders as they emerged from the depths, while the gnomes, they waited safely sealed away in the upper urban tunnels. At the time, this had seemed like the only way out of the unforeseen invasion, and it wouldn't require any help from the otherwise occupied alliance. This took place during the events of Warcraft 3, so the alliance was a little bit busy and the gnomes would take care of the gnomes. Firmaplug had seemed so confident that this stuff would do the trick. But most of the trogs, they just shambled through the gas, if anything, growing wilder as they became irradiated. And even worse, the gas had risen through all of Gnomeregon. It had sifted through Firmaplug's filters, killing most of the gnomes who had sat there waiting in their homes, choking on vile green clouds behind doors that the High Tinkerer had promised would keep them safe. Perhaps a fate worse than death was for those that survived the radiation and they were transformed into what we now call the leper gnome. Horribly mutated and insane. Sickly green, with bloated skin, eyes glowing, claiming that Gnomeregon is theirs. Even Firmaplug could not escape his own radiation and he became the leader of those who stayed inside Gnomeregon. Despite several attempts to reclaim the city, the former capital of the gnomes is still not fully retaken, but they are making progress and they're even working on trying to find a cure for their mutated brothers and sisters. Until the day comes, the leper gnomes will keep on trying to give big hugs to those that they encounter, but Gnomeregon is not the only location where we can find them. There's the leper gnome quintet, a boss fight in the brawlers guilds, where Queasy, Sleazy, Greasy, Fleazy and Wheezy, they like nothing more than to give you big hugs and stack leprous spew on your body. There's Hagel, a leper gnome sadly living out his days at the deep run tram, sifting through the trash. He, he had it all and then he lost it. Lost. All gone. Like, like his mind. His mind is like cheese. He likes cheese. And it's not just the Alliance side that has leper gnomes either. Wandering about in the beautiful city of the Blood Elves, we find leper gnome laborers working at Keelan's trustworthy tailoring. It doesn't seem like the work conditions in this shop are quite up to snuff, since they're being whipped by Sirik Nano, Keelan's sheets summoned demonic succubus. Yep, this is WoW's very own sweatshop. Now the Horde doesn't just enslave leper gnomes, there's also a fair number of them that have joined the Forsaken and they've sworn their loyalty to the Banshee Queen Sylvanas. Though the means by which they were plagued is different, they're clearly plagued nonetheless, and the apothecary Jared has taken on Crispin as his apprentice. There are even some leper gnomes who've gone through the dark portal and they travel to Outland since we can find Maxineer's team rigor within the steam vault at the Coilfing Reservoir. Although he escaped Gnomeregon and retained his intellect, whatever ethics and compassions he once possessed, they're gone. He wandered Azeroth, selling his knowledge to a number of unscrupulous groups such as the Bloodsail Buccaneers. During the Burning Crusade, the Naga hired Steam Rigger to operate the intricate machinery within Zangamarsh's Steam Vault. All in all, it's safe to say that those gnomes who found themselves mutated by the mistakes of the leaders, they did not have it easy. Some of them lost their minds, some of them are forced to live on the streets, or they become enslaved while others try to make the best of it and find a place in the world. Perhaps one day, the gnomes will be able to find the cure that they're looking for and put an end to the nightmare and the insults thrown at the leper gnomes. You smell like a leper gnome! <laughs> This is where we'll end the story of the Leper Gnome for today. As always, I'll leave it up to you guys and girls to decide what card we're going to talk about next. So leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And who knows, your card might be used in the next video. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. 
And until next time, guys. See ya!